Relief sculptures are a type of 3D art form in which an artist works on a flat surface and either builds up or takes away parts of the surface in order to create height, width, and depth. There are many different ways to create a relief sculpture, but today we're going to explore cardboard relief sculptures. In cardboard relief, you'll start with a base of flat cardboard and continue to add more pieces of flat cardboard on top to create your image. When you're starting out with cardboard relief, it's best to start out with very simple basic shapes that are easy to cut and glue because you'll want to give yourself some time to practice using cardboard cutters and the cardboard glue. Once you get some practice in and you start feeling more comfortable with the tools and materials, then you can push yourself to create more complex designs using cardboard like the ones we see here. This brings us to an artist alert. Louise Nevelson is an awesome artist to learn about when we're talking about relief sculptures. While she is not technically a cardboard artist, her art style is called assemblage, which is all about building objects up and putting objects together to create three-dimensional art that has height, width, and depth. Louise Nevelson was born in Ukraine on September 23, 1899. Her family moved to Maine when she was just a child. Her father owned a junkyard, and as a child, she enjoyed looking through the old junk to see whatever she could find. She used to call herself the original recycler because she was always repurposing and reusing old found objects to create new things. This inspired her later in life when she began to create art. She moved to New York City as an adult and immediately felt connected to the city. She found lots of old junk and scraps that she began using to create her sculptures. Her sculptures are called assemblages. Assemble means to put something together. Louise would take a bunch of random found objects and assemble them to create one single art piece. Most of the pieces she found were made of wood and the sculptures were sometimes huge, often filling up entire walls. Something interesting about her work is that all of the pieces she used were completely different from each other, but once she put everything together, she would often paint her sculpture all one single color. When an artist uses only one color, it's called monochromatic. Why do you think she chose to paint her sculptures all one color? What do you notice about Louise Nevelson's assemblage sculptures? Compare it to the cardboard relief sculptures that we looked at earlier. What is similar and what is different? How could you use ideas from Louise Nevelson to create an interesting cardboard relief sculpture.